Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel and I got another recap for you guys, Ready to Love, Season 5, Episode 9, Out of Town and Out of Bounds Recap. So before we jump into this, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications. If you like the video, smash that like button and also feel free to drop a comment down in the comment section below. So I'm not going to waste any time here, we're going to jump right into this. So, while these cast members are looking for love, it seems that some of the friendships and alliances made will bite some of them in the behind, actually. So, actually, for the first time, we got to see how things went on the way to the venue, which I think was somewhere in Maryland. And while, of course, we uh, only see five people on their way, uh, the car with Camille, Cornelius, and Zadia is noteworthy. Why? Well, we learn about Zadia and Camille's friendship, and we get to see how Zadia, while she support Camille and Cornelius, also knows how to stir up some stuff. And in this case, getting Cornelius to trip and not say the things Camille wants to hear. And what specifically in particular? Well, you know, confirming that he is as into her as she is into him. Because when you think about it, Cornelius ever really used the same lovey-dovey terms that Camille has. So yeah, she definitely put him on the spot. Okay, so let's put that to the side for a minute. Now, once they got to the house, there's another person that's a little bit thrown off and in her feelings and feeling some kind of way, and that's Mew Me. Now, the reason is, one-on-one, -on -one, she and Walter, they just click, and to her, it's magical. However, when she finds herself trying to intrude on time, Sabrina is spending with Walter. Yeah, she feels like she's given a cold shoulder. And when Walter does interact with her, he didn't really reassure her in a way that made her feel like she stood, you know, she still stood a chance. Thus, she starts talking bad about Sabrina, like Sabrina's a bad influence, and poisoning Walter against her. But, to be honest, oh. the truth is, Sabrina ain't thinking about that girl. I mean, at this point, Walter is the only one pursuing her, and she's growing more and more comfortable with him, including telling him that she was a dancer for 10 years. Plus, with Mumin acting like a child and not being willing to communicate after a disagreement, it only makes Sabrina maturity look that much better. Now, those aren't the only two that seem kind of locked in. We got Frank and Sydney too, uh, as they call them, the non-related wonder twins. I mean, they're in bliss, despite Frank saying he'd mutually focus on Sydney and Mumin. And I mean, at this point, Sydney is starting to say, but not to Frank's face, that she's pretty much in love. Now, this now leads us to Aisha, who finally can have a date and some quality time with Dante, because those two are usually only able to talk on the phone. And with the way those two hit it off in their little date where he gave her a massage, it seems that he's definitely in making a quick move up her rankings. And then we still have Camille and Cornelius, who are still cool. Uh, granted, though, his fellow cast members are kind of giving him a side eye and raising an eyebrow regarding what he's letting go and that, you know, the things that they're noticing. But, I mean, this man seems to enjoy Camille's personality, so they just side eyed and they keep it moving. Okay, so let's get into this. So remember that little tiff Zadia and Aisha had before during the last elimination? Yep, it's time for round two. And rather than just amongst the ladies this time, it's in front of the men who see Aisha in the right and Zadia in the wrong. Mainly uh, since multiple people see Zadia egg in a situation that even didn't deal with her. I mean, originally, Aisha was commenting on Camille's take on who, you know, could be eliminated and the whole process of it all. Now, of course, this led Zadia jumping in after Camille issues a threat regarding Cornelius 
uh, potentially being in the bottom two. And with Zadia calling Aisha a hater and getting under her skin, things get where Aisha had to leave the room. And when that happens, Zadia is still talking, thus making it so that the connection she does have left since Dante is now focused on Aisha He's quickly, as much as he was going up her scale, he's sliding back down on his end. And he's losing interest real quick. And for Naeem, seeing how Zadia handles a disagreement is definitely not a good look and is not attractive at all. And I mean, let it be known, round three comes during elimination. But at this point, if the ladies could substitute a guy for Camille and Zadia, I think they would. However, they don't have such an ability, so Naeem and Cornelius is at the bottom. And this is where the show kind of give us a cliffhanger wondering who got the boot. Though with how Camille is acting, I mean, either Cornelius is the one that got the boot. Or she's just being real dramatic about all of this for the cameras. So here's what I want to know. I mean, are they paid to stay on the show? Is there some type of penalty or whatever for quitting or not participating when asked repeatedly? I mean, Aisha said she throws down in the kitchen. So, I mean, does she really make that the whole spray? I mean, it's just so many questions with this whole thing. And the reason that I asked that first question is I don't understand the premise of the show. I mean, at some point, you got to start narrowing some people down. And if you've narrowed down both the male or the woman in the situation have narrowed it down that they're going to go all in, why is there an elimination process that could break that up? I don't understand that part of it. That part of it just does not make sense to me. You know, and guys, drop it in the comment section. Let me know what you think. I just think that this whole thing is set up wrong because look like to me, once a full-fledged couple has been formed and they decided to be, I guess, I would say in parentheses, exclusive on the show as being all in and they're not trying to make other connections. Is there a way to kind of exclude them and allow everybody else to complete the process and make their final connections? Because... Having multiple connections all the way up to the last week of the show, it just does not make sense. People should now start to begin to solidify who they want to be with and stick to that. Now, I could see if we were episode three, but I think probably we may have only like maybe three to four episodes left. So, and if that, so, I mean, at what point do breaking up a couple can they can the couple say okay fine you know we decide to stay together we're going to pursue our connection can we leave the show or do you make them exempt from elimination because now they have decided that we're going to you know build upon our connection and we're not interested in anybody else you know it doesn't make sense because other people don't have a connection with that person that okay i get to vote you off because you're not connecting with us the purpose is, is to find love, not continue to circular date until the end of the season. That's just my thoughts, but let's continue. So let's talk about what could happen next. So if Camille has to get rid of Cornelius, I think she'll probably quit or willingly, you know, get eliminated in the next episode, which defeats the purpose of staying to the end of the season. Okay. As for who the guys will eliminate after that, if Camille does quit, probably Zadia with Sabrina joining her in the bottom two, mainly since neither has more than one connection at this point. That's what I'm saying. I think they need to go back and revamp how the process should end at this point, you know, but let's keep going. I mean... At the end of this, people with genuine connections end up getting eliminated. I mean, they may, meaning Cornelius and Naeem, they may only have one connection each. But considering the same can be said about their counterparts, you know, it just feels differently this time around. I mean, usually the people who get eliminated don't have a match or fell off. But Cornelius and Camille, even how distorted it may be, um, and even Naeem with Zadia, I mean, it, it just doesn't make sense. It's all this uh, 
process of elimination. I just don't understand it. And then when you add in, um, it isn't like Camille or Zadia have options after this elimination. It does kind of help you understand why they skipped an elimination this episode. I mean, after all, you got the four weakest contestants all in one place. And if all four took themselves out, I don't think anybody would be crying about it. But, you know, I mean, since the eliminations are segregated by genders, uh, the guys don't often know what the ladies say and vice versa. I mean, however, you know, with Aisha, Zadia and Camille, it kind of cracked open that door so the guys could see how contentious an elimination could be. Uh, how some care about established relationships, others don't. And through silence, you know, how many recognize that they are just here for their man and all this other stuff has nothing to do with them. Now, you know, even though this is not vocalized, you know, I think you can definitely see Zadia's actions were because Dante was focused on Aisha and is no longer pursuing her as he used to. But once we hit, you know, that this vacation episode, you know, that is usually when people start, you know, to get in their feelings and it makes seeing uh, someone else with your crush kind of threatening. Now, while some like Sabrina can just hunch it off and pay it no mind, that's not a, a common thing. I mean, while everyone is a certain age, it doesn't mean that they have the maturity you know, to handle seeing the person that they're invested in treat someone else as they want to be treated. But, you know, just to kind of give it a little grace, I mean, how many people could honestly say that they be fine seeing their crush, someone they're dating, courting, or, you know, smooching up with, with somebody else? I mean, look at Mumi. Zadia isn't alone in being jealous in this episode. And then the way Mimi was acting, you'd think Sabrina was spreading rumors about her rather than just chilling out when Walter wants to sniff around her. Which, you know, it definitely leaves us to wonder with Mimi, a name member of the brown girl gang um, that Zadia and Camille got going on. If one or both stick around, will she, you know, have them get involved in her situation? Especially since Frank wasn't really pursuing Mumin in this particular episode. So it was a pretty interesting episode to say the least. I mean, the messiness, I mean, Zadia wasn't even part of that conversation. Camille was pretty much saying this is my man she sound kind of uh, possessive in this episode but you know who knows um and then of course that's why Aisha chimed in and then Zadia came to her defense and it just created a whole conundrum of events and then this whole other thing which is circled around this argument is like okay why would you eliminate somebody who's a solid couple or who's interested in pursuing their connections it make no sense if i take myself off the market which is what i'm supposed to do when i'm finding love right if i take myself off the market why would i get eliminated because i have a connection with somebody and i'm not pursuing other connections in the the house it doesn't make sense. If I'm done and I say, you know, you, I only want to focus on you. You want to focus on me. That's it. That's all. Some kind of way production of this show has to set it up where if a solid couple is formed and they wanted to, I guess, clock in and say, hey, we're a couple now. At what point does the show say, okay, you guys are solid. You're exempt. Why eliminate and break up somebody who claim to be ready to love in this situation but then y'all eliminate because they you're not getting the opportunity to build a connection which they're not even open to so let me know your thoughts i'm not going to continue to circle that conversation it just doesn't make sense but let me know your thoughts sound off in the comment section below um like comment and subscribe and we will see you in the next video